This is week nine. We're going to discuss uh, controls. More particularly, we're going to discuss type of controls you find to control HVAC systems. What you see here is a basic thermostat, and this thermostat is the old style of uh, mercury thermostat you find to control the room temperature. And with this control, you see that uh, if you turn it, you can maybe, maybe see the mercury moving around inside of this. If I move it back and forth, you could see it. Thermostats are uh, designed to maintain the temperature, and the way it works, it senses the temperature in the room. By this particular one, it has a bimetal coil, and this bimetal coil is consists of two different metals. And when it there is a temperature change, it will uh, warp the bimetal and cause movement. It's in a coil, so it would expand or contract based on the uh, the movement. So if I could zoom in, we can maybe see the um, the action of you can see the bimetal a little bit better now. The bimetal coil is right there. And if you notice, I'm going to turn the bimetal, the knob, you can see that the mercury is moving and we're causing change in the, uh, the bimetal coil. But it senses temperature and will cause this mercury bulb to move back and forth to make contact to turn on or turn off the heating and cooling system. This is one type. This old style, they're getting rid of these because, of course, mercury is a hazard. Um, it's toxic. So because of that, uh, digital thermostats are becoming more popular these days. Matter of fact, uh, digital is a lot more uh, accurate and reliable than this mercury bulb style, this old style. One of the problems was, you can see the mercury is moving back and forth. And if this wasn't leveled on the wall correctly, it could throw the thermostat out of calibration. So, very sensitive to uh, levelness on the wall. Other types of thermostats you may find. This is another type. This is a two-stage thermostat. It has two sensing bulbs. So, some larger systems may have two compressors or two furnaces um, or two uh, elements or two stage heating system that will uh, turn on and turn off uh, at different times or different temperatures. So this is a two stage. You can see that the mercury is moving at a different rate. They are slightly out of calibration of each other for that purpose. It's another type of thermostat, similar, it's an older style. It's more on commercial buildings where you see a single stage and a, a two stage. And it's designed for both heating and cooling. Newer type thermostats are, like I said, going to the digital. Uh, there's no moving parts. The only moving parts you have is just the push button to raise it and lower the temperature or change the programming or to do other things. Uh, so it's, like I said, very simple. It works still the same way as other type of thermostat will, um, such as having a sub-base. The sub-base are designed to connect the wiring to the unit itself. So if I could show you the uh, another thermostat with the parts taking off of it, this is thermostat. I'm going to remove internal gut and this is basically the sub base you see the wire terminals where you would connect your thermostat wire to your heating and cooling equipment so like you said there's no moving parts it's all done by electronics very accurate very sensitive one nice thing about the electronic type thermostats that they are programmable that you can program to turn on and turn off at different times of the day or different times of the week 
at different temperatures and to get the most efficiency out of your equipment. So this is the newer style of thermostats. Other type of controls that we may find, this is what we call a metastat. This metastat, if you notice, will um, have percentage of moisture in the air and you will be able to adjust it by the, the knob that would fit onto this shaft. This internal and the wires for your humidistat would connect here. And basically there is a special material on the inside of it that will expand or contract based on the amount of humidity in the air. And so it will open and close the switch to, um, uh, to turn, like I said, your humidifier on and off. This is another type of control um, that will operate in the house for your humidity. Other type of controls, this particular one, what we call a fan limit switch. And I'm going to bag it out some so you can see a little bit better. This control is designed to maintain um, a high limit safety control. This is a, the shaft that actually inserts inside of your furnace. This is a, another bimetal coil that it will expand or contract based on temperature. It's to protect the, um, the furnace from high temperatures getting too hot. It will uh, open up a switch to de-energize your heating system. But also, this same control will um, control the operation of the uh, blower motor. The blower motor will delay turning on based on the, uh, the temperature uh, that's built up inside your heat exchanger. So when the temperature gets to the correct amount that there's heat that can use to uh, circulate through the house, at that point, the, uh, this control will bring in the operation of the blower. And so it would be set by the technician for the proper temperature as it um, uh, operate the, um, the blower motor. And this particular one does have a special switch on it as a button that is used to um, control the, uh, the blower in automatic position. We can turn it on and turn it off based on the position of that switch. This dial here is what the technician will adjust these little slides to uh, turn the, um, uh, the blower on and off at a predetermined temperature. Then there would be a fixed one for the high limit to cycle it off on the high temperature to turn the burners off. So one is cycling the fan, the other two set of contacts or the set of contacts are used for um, the high limit safety switch. Other type of relay controls we have, you may find is this is a relay and this relay is based on using it for controlling the operation of the um, of other type of controls and limits and loads in the system. So it has a coil and of course it has its contacts at the top and these contacts are used to um, bring your wires to for the switching action. Other type of relays, like we may find, like for uh, compressors, those small hermetic compressors, they will have this type of relay used to um, take out the start winding. That's another type we find in a fill, which is called a potential relay, and that's for larger compressors, and it has three terminals on it and it has a special coil that senses the inductance from the start winding. And this device here is used to um, take out the start winding also. Other things you may find is the operation of a transformer. A transformer basically has um, power that will come in that has a primary coil and a secondary coil to 
primary coil is the power coming into it, a secondary coil where the power leaves it. And this um, is rated by the, uh, you call it VAs, the volt amps, which is the amount of power these transformers will be rated for to handle up to. And it has two sides. The, the secondary side is the load side, while the other side would be the primary side, which is the incoming voltage. So basically, the primary side would be the input, and the secondary side where the terminals go would be the output. So these are some of the components that you find to operate uh, systems. Going back to the relays, we have the current relay, we have the potential relay, and those components uh, will take out the start winding, but it will use capacitors. This is the capacitor for the start winding, what we call a start capacitor, and here's another one that is a run capacitor. This run capacitor, is for, this particular one, is a combination one. It's designed for operating both the compressor and the condenser fan motor. And this is the common coming in, so it splits off to the two different motors. But it'll be used off of a potential relay like this here with a start capacitor to give the compressor more starting torque and running torque. And there's a, a solid state for small refrigeration. Um, small refrigeration type of uh, compressors. They would use this type of relay, but if this ever goes bad, most technicians would uh, carry on their truck. This is a solid state uh, relay. Matter of fact, it's a combination uh, relay. It's a uh, relay over low protection, and it also is a start capacitor. It's three in one. So with this goes bad, you can replace it with a system that is actually even better. There's no moving parts, and but it comes with a start capacitor to give it extra starting torque, and it has a built-in overload also. And basically, you just have these wires that would go to your uh, compressor leads, and you would use it these three terminals to power up your compressor. So this is basically the operation of many different type of relays and switches and controls we find for uh, HVAC systems.